much good grip strength? Oh my God, Chris. Big I, here. How do you how do you get good grip strength? Huh? Come on, come on Hang in. On, pull take up a bars. knee. Take a knee. Pull up bars. I just saw somebody down here doing pull ups. That's why it, it got me thinking about it. Pull ups. Rows. Then squeeze finger curls. Grip. Okay. Grip is important for wrestling, right? Yeah. The claw. You know the claw. You know, you, you know the claw. See grip what it can do for you in wrestling okay but we're segueing into it. extremely important for this this next guy okay this next guy uh, he's gonna he's gonna work on the top position okay grip very important okay in terms of if you can get a wrist if you can get a claw right your grip holding the guy down being strong okay even even when you're wrestling on your feet okay getting a tie and being able to hang on to that tie okay Pull on that tie. Get the legs. Okay? So that's my teaching moment for the day. Hey, work on your grip. Work on your grip and your back strength. Okay? Right there, those are your best friends in this room besides your coaches and your training partners. Okay? They're right up there with them. Okay? Right there. You should do that every day. Okay? What happens if you th if you did five five of those every day? We'd look like you. Well, I don't know. But no, you do five, okay? Then maybe a week later you do six, okay? Then you do seven, then pretty soon you're doing 58 pull ups, right? 58. Who does 58? I know a guy that did 58. What's his name? I can't tell you. I'll tell you off camera. He's a modest guy. He's, he, he did 58. He, did, he held the all time, all time record. He did. Yeah. Roberts knows him. Okay. So, we're going to talk about grip. He's going to, talk, he's going to use his grip. That's what I'm getting at. Alex Elder, okay, one of the best top wrestlers, in, uh, position wrestlers in the country. Are you using the upper partner or someone else? Why don't you use whoever? <laughs> okay. So, how about it? All right, guys. So, uh, before someone's some returns, let's talk sit up, sit up. Just gonna, we're gonna go over just, just good writing, okay? And break them down and uh, keep the pressure on because that's really important when you get to the highest level. You can take a lot out of someone in a, in a close match just by just by good writing, taking taking the energy out of them on top. So uh, one of my, I mean, I have a couple things I like to do on top, but one of my favorites is just to do a chop and uh, and drive them over and keep the head pressure in, okay? So when you're when you're on top. One thing you really, really want to focus on is keeping your hips in, okay? Keeping your hips in, chest up, kind of. If you keep your chest down, your hips are going to come out, okay? And that's not a lot of weight on the guy. You can, you can come up and, and you're going to have a hard time. You're going to have to waste more energy trying to bring him back down and all that. So right off the muscle, you want your hips in. As much as you can't see how his weight comes forward on his hands, right there, just like that. And that's, I mean, he's already working harder, okay? So, um, uh, I'm gonna show right now just the chop off the uh, whistle. So you're gonna, you're gonna just right here, this hand that's on the on the elbow, you're gonna just chop it. Just clasp it in hard yeah. as you're driving simultaneously with your hip. Boom, you drive them over like that. Okay? And uh, um, okay. Also, this knee is important to have in the butt right here. So turn over like this. If you're I mean if your knees out here up there like that, I mean, Try to drive this up, but if your knees in here right there, you're really gonna get them going forward like that. So, and you want to take him over where he doesn't have his knees like a table, where he doesn't have his uh, arm. So, chop it right there and just drive him over. All right. So right there, you don't have to stop. Just keep driving, keep driving, make him flat. That sort of thing. So, before working anything else, I want you guys to just go out there and just work on breaking them down, keeping good pressure. And the guy on bottom, give him a little bit of resistance, so don't, don't just fall over for him. But uh, give him give him a good feel. So you think you guys can do that? Yeah. Alright, let's go get a shot.